Spelling list number 27. Word number one, poster, B-O-S-T-E-R, poster. A large sheet with a picture of our printing on it that is up as an advertisement, not as, or decoration. Um, we could see usually in the classrooms posters about things that we have done or rules uh, for the classroom. Or if you like, uh, you have a favorite music band, you might have a poster or you have a poster of your favorite sport personality or a poster, it's just like a big picture. Or in this case, I have a poster of not bullying some. Number two, secret, S-E-C-R-E-D, -E -E secret. Something that is kept hidden or is known only to a few. We all know secrets, but should not tell. Secrets to keep it for yourself. Number three, weather. W-H-E-T-H-E-R, weather, used to show a choice between things. I put two examples here. We have actually the, diff uh, the difference between weather without the H. So that will be of the climate, okay? How cold, if it's rainy, if it's hot, if it's, that's the weather versus weather. And the example that is there, I don't know whether to do it or not. I don't know uh, whether to go to the beach or to the mountains, okay? It's to choose in between two things. Number four, author, A-U-T-H-O-R, author, a person who writes a book, story, play, or magazine article. Uh, if you have a book that you like to read, you might know the author, okay? Who wrote the book. Number five, rocket, R-O-C-K-E-T, rocket. A device that is driven through the air by an explosive or by rapidly burning liquid or solid fuel. The rockets launch and they go to open space. Number six, bushel, B-U-S-H-E-L, bushel, a unit of capacity for dry thing equal to four pegs or 32 quarts. Um, usually this, um, what we see here, that it's called a bushel and they only put dry things like pears, like apples, mangoes, potatoes. So dry things, you cannot put water in there, but it's a unit of capacity. So when you see this type of kind of basket, it's called a bushel because it holds uh, this amount of uh, weight. Number seven, agree, A-G-R-E-E, -E, agree. To have or share the same opinion. If we agree in, um, um, listen to music during class, everybody will say yes or no. And if the, like, um, the majority of the students in the class will say yes, so it means we all agree and listen to music while we are in class. That's an example. Number eight, bucket, B-U-C-K-E-T, bucket, a round open container with a curved handle used for carrying things such as water and sand. When you go to the beach and you were used, when you were, when you guys were kids, like little kids, probably you used a bucket to carry on sand when you were at the beach or water to build up sand, castle. Number nine, ticket, P-I-C-K-E-T, -E ticket, an admission slip to a performance or a service. You have a ticket to go to the movie theaters or to a concert or to a, um, get into an airplane. Okay, you, have, you need to buy a ticket for all those things. Number 10, declare, D-E-C-L-A-R-E, -E, declare. 
to say with emphasis or certainty. Um, these two guys, uh, Kim Jong-un and the other president, they recently, not to go ago, not too long ago, they decide to declare peace in between the two countries. Declare. Number 11, chicken, C-H-I-C-K-E-N, chicken, the common domestic fowl. Hen or rooster, the chicken. You like chicken, right? Number 12, clothing. C-L-O-T-H-I-N-G, clothing. Just the clothes, okay? Regular clothes, whatever you wear. Your shirt, your pants, your sweatshirts, your um, shorts, your skirts, your dresses. Those are clothings. clothes, clothing. Number 13, apron. A P R O N apron, a, gar a garment worn over the front of the body to protect the clothes. Uh, usually is used uh, by chef or probably your mom when is going to cook. She wears an apron in the kitchen to prevent the clothes to the clothes to get dirty. Number fourteen, whiskers. W H I S K E R S whiskers, a stiff long hair growing near the mouth of certain animals, such as cats, rats, and rabbits. Those hairs, like facial hairs, like long and thick and stiff, are called whiskers. Number 15, degree, D E D R E E, degree. Unit of temperature scale, a little aware by a college, awarded by a college or university after completing a required course of study. For example, in the picture on the left, we have a thermometer, which is indicating the uh, temperature, okay? Those temperatures are in degrees, Celsius degrees or Fahrenheit degrees depend on the country you're living in. Um, and when you graduate in the university or college, you might receive a degree. Number 16, gather, D-A-T-H-E-R, gather, to bring or come together into one place, to collect. In the first picture on the left, I have a lady gathering lettuce from her backyard or from her garden, okay? And in the other picture, the picture on the right, we have a people gathering together, they gather all together to have lunch or a meal, okay? They're gathered like all together. 17, achieve, A-C-H-I-E-V-E, -E, achieve, to succeed, in, the, in doing or accomplishing. Um, my example, how to achieve your goals, okay? Um, you achieve your goals by, in, in this case that you're a student, you might achieve your goals of um, being promoted to the fifth grade uh, by getting good grades and completing the whole school year. Um, you achieve your goal of going to fifth grade. Number 18, rather, R-A-T-H-E-R, -E rather, more willingly. Would you rather to be a ninja or a pirate? Okay, so which one you rather? It's like prefer, okay? Number 19, bracket, B-R-A-C-K-E-T, bracket. A support or fixture fastened to a surface and sticking out to hold something. Look at the picture on the left. That is a bracket, okay? Those black things I use as, as a support for that um, table or desk, okay? That's called bracket. And in the other picture on the right, we have a bracket when you're writing and you open the little lines, you call it bracket as well. 
okay? When you want to enclose something there in, in, in our writing, it's called bracket. Number 20, machine. M-A-C-H-I-N-E, machine. A combination of mechanical parts that operate together to perform a certain task. Here we have a huge machine. I don't know what is it about, what is that machine for, but it's a huge machine. Machines, um, it's kind of a synonym of engine, machine. Number 21, person, P-E-R-S-O-N, person, a human being, an individual. You are a person, I am a person. You are a person, individual. Number 22, basket, B-I-S-K-E-T, basket. A container made of woven uh, grasses, fibers, or strip of wood, okay? Usually it's knitted like this, like this. And that's why in the basketball, you have to um, score by uh, passing the ball through a basket. Even if you see the with a uh, little uh, round thing that hangs something on it. It's kind of uh, this knitting and it's a basket, okay? That's why it's called, it's called basketball. So this is a basket. You can carry uh, flowers, you can carry fruits. Um, so you can use it as a decoration or to carry on things, basket. Number 23, between, B-E-T-W-E-E-N, between, preposition, in the position uh, separating. For example, this apple is between these two yellow boxes, in the middle, in between the boxes. 24, artist, A-R-T-I-S-T, artist. A person who practices an art, such as painting, sculpture, or music. Everything that uh, we do as, uh, you know, draw, like drawing and all those, we, uh, we consider ourselves artists, or we consider people like for real, they're very famous painters and uh, art um, sculptures, oh, or music players that are amazing, they're considered artists. Number 25, jacket. J-A-C-K-E-T, jacket, a short coat. Um, usually the jacket is worn during winter, cold weather, very cold weather. 26, regret. R-E-G-R-E-T, regret, to feel sorry about. This guy probably did something bad and now he regrets it, okay? Um, if, for example, you're going to eat um, a piece of chocolate at 10 o'clock um, in the nighttime, you might regret that later on. Probably you might have stomach ache or something you don't feel good and you will regret eating that chocolate. Regret. Number 27, nephew. N-E-P-H-E-W, nephew, the son of one's brother or sister. This is um, a picture of a guy. And let's pretend that this guy is his sister's son. So it's this guy's nephew. Number 28, method. M-E-T-H-O-D, method. A regular or deliberate way of doing something. We talk about the scientific method while we're doing science fair. So what is it? It's just the uh, how to do the things, how to do uh, in the science fair case, it's just steps, how you do the procedure of each um, step or how you perform the um the science fair, okay? What what you what ingredients you got or what materials you got, and step by step you will say how you did it. That is a method, okay? Number twenty nine, decline. D E C L I N E, decline to refuse to accept or do. In this case, I put 
like when somebody calls you on your cell phone, you have the, the option of accept the phone call or decline it, and then you hang up and you don't answer that phone call. So you decline the call. And number 30, vibrate. V-I-B-R-A-T-E, vibrate. To move or cause to move back and forth rapidly. For example, when we don't want the phone to make a noise, you will turn it into a vibrate mode and it will just shake a little bit when somebody calls you or when you receive a message. Vibrate. Mm -hmm. 